All right, we got to talk about Joyless Reed here over at MSDNC, folks. Uh, this woman has slapped crazy nuts. And uh, so now, as she says that we've got too many people living in America, and uh, she's wondering why we need more children here in the United States. Uh, take a look at this. The United States has a population of north of 327 million people. Why do we need more kids? I mean, your party, Senator Tuberville, is the one screaming that 10 million immigrants, which I don't even know that that number even makes any sense because it doesn't, um, have streamed into the country since Joe Biden has been president. And you're claiming that that's too many people, that if more people come into the southern border, this is some sort of crisis because we, we've got too many people and we've got no more space and we can't afford more people. But now you're saying we need more kids can you explain who's the we and what's the purpose you're also a senator from the state of alabama god help the people there are you saying the state of alabama needs more kids well of course they need more kids joyless what do you expect for crying out loud how how else are we going to be able to field all the football teams in alabama if we don't start procreating for god's sakes right we need more Mormons and Catholics down there popping out the kids left and right. We need more kids in America. And who is this moron, Joyless Reed, to say that we need to stop procreating? It's a biblical mandate, for goodness sakes. It's in the Old and New Testament. Well, at least the Old Testament. But I think the New Testament, too. Why does the state of Alabama need more kids? More kids for what? There was a time when the state of Alabama absolutely needed more kids because, you know, Alabama was a slave state. And the mandate of the planter class in Alabama was for black women to produce more kids because those kids were property and they could work more kids and make more money on their plantations. Are you saying the state of Alabama needs more kids because you think that those populations will include people who are maybe destitute and desperate enough if you kick out the immigrants like a lot of y'all want to do and you could make them do the work that the migrants are doing now? Because that kind of sounds slavery-ish. Is the state of Alabama the we? And is, is, is that the why? I say, I say, Joyless Reed, we need more people out there picking cotton and making beans and cornbread, Joyless. Get your bucket of KFC, I say, I say. Are you kidding me? Really, Joyless Reed? This woman would have you believe that all the people down in Dixie are running around without any shoes on wearing wife beater t-shirts and overalls, playing banjos. Come on, when was the last time this woman was even down right outside of New York City? When was the last time Joyless Reed actually left New York City? I mean, you're also a white guy. Are you saying the we is white folks need more kids? Is this like a great replacement thing where you're concerned that there's not enough white people in the population versus the growth of the Latino population, the black population, the Asian American population. And so the we is white people. Oh, Nelly, hold on just a second, Joyless. Who do you think you are accusing Senator Tuberville of being a white man? Have you actually asked how he identifies? He could identify as a black man to get those reparations over in San Francisco. That's why yours truly, Todd Starnes, also goes by LeBron Starnes. I identify as a black man because I want my $25 million in reparations. So it's a bit presumptuous, don't you think, of Joyless Reed to somehow suggest that Senator Tuberville is a white guy. But even if he is, so what? It's America. We need some white people in this country. That's not a crime. White people need to make white women have more kids, and that's the we and that's the why, because it's a little creepy. A little handmaid's tale, don't you think? Okay. All right. Maybe I was a little harsh on Joyless. Um, there are some people in America who probably should not procreate. I'm thinking about Democrats, the Biden family, Hunter specifically, and uh, men who wear mullets. And possibly, and this is a stretch here, people with Joy's hairdo. What is going on on that woman's head? That cannot be her natural hair color. What is she like? Is she a Trump surrogate now? Is, is she trying to, like, embrace her inner Trump? Regardless, Joy, I hate to break it to you, but you got a little cultural appropriation going on up on your head there. All right, folks, unbelievable.